We uh, have started using a social media platform that um, we find is an excellent way of um, doing something quickly. And uh, I'm just going to show you um, like basically how to use this. So with social media, um, a lot of you already use Facebook and um, and you also use Instagram, so which are great mediums, but can take time and it's a fairly slow process. So with Social B, this this um, platform that we use, um, it 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 enables you to put one post up and then it goes across all platforms. So it goes LinkedIn. Uh, Google My Business, Instagram, or Facebook. Um, it also can go to Pinterest and also to Twitter as well if you do that sort of thing. But we, the main ones I use is the LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and uh, Google My Business. So this is a dashboard for Inspire Me Now, for Inspired Trades Business Coaching that I'm showing you here. Um, so um, if, if you were to go onto Social B, um, this is your dashboard that you can see um, when you start. But I'll just show you um, basically uh, your prof. You start with settings. So you set up your personal information. So um, who you are, your company, your number, whatever, um, chat, the password, your email address. So. Um, this is your, your settings or your main setting page. And then once you've done that, you go in and uh, on the left hand side here, <coughs> you connect your social profiles. So if we click on that, it brings up our connected social profiles, which so we've got Instagram, LinkedIn, um, iGyro, Inspired Trades and um, like on Google My Business. So Google My Business for iGyro, Google My Business for Inspired Trades, and um, our, also our Facebook. So down here, there, this is where you connect. So you can go on to, if you've got a page, so your page would be uh, your business profile. You then, you click on that. Because I've already done it, um, it, will, it won't really do anything because Oh, I'll just show you here. Um, so I have lots of profiles connected. And so um, I don't need to reconnect because I don't want to, you know, touch this again and mess it all up. So, um, but that's just showing you where you can connect to your social profiles. So I'm just going to go um, back here and come up to workspace onboarding so if you do decide to have a look at social b which is i highly recommend it it's very easy to use uh it's a really great platform um which i'll just show you more about it in a minute but um workspace onboarding if you come to there when you um join it will go through actually how to set it all up so if you if you click on this, it um, she talk, she actually talks you through it. So it it makes it quite easy, and you and you just so once you've seen that, you click you um, click next. So um, so we've connected our social profiles. So yep, they're all there. Uh, so we don't need that. So we can go to content. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, so it just works through this. So it's not letting me because um, it actually wants me to be able to go through. But um, but you, once you you work your way through this list and then you start buzzing. So once you've done that, it's it's that that just gives you a um, you know a way of working through it and having some help. So let's get out of there getting started. Um, I've just clicked myself out. So I'm going to actually show you how to get back in. So um, I have this set up. So it 
comes up with your connected profiles, you go back to your dashboard and here is our dashboard with all our profiles set up. Am I going too fast? Is it making it easy for everyone? Hopefully it's easy enough to understand. All right, so next thing I'm going to show you, so we've got our profiles there. Now we need to set up when we're going to post. So down the bottom of this uh, screen, it says um, that there's like schedules that you can, um, that when, when you actually go into it, it will have um, all best practices schedules. So it'll have, oh, it's got so many. There's about 15. You really, you really don't need to do 15 a week. They just overkill. So what I do is I delete all the old schedules that they um, offer me to do. And then I add my schedules. So I add a new posting time. So I'll just show you. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, um, I can either go LinkedIn, Google my business, Google my business, and then select a category. So there's lots of random categories. Um, I've got ones in my, in promotional category. And so th that's the ones that I've already got. So what I can do is set up a random category, which is a new one. Um, at the moment, I've got posts for this going out on a Monday and a Wednesday. So maybe I'll do a Friday for a random. And we can go to say, um, let's say um, 3, 3.20, because that's when a lot of subbies have knocked off, actually. Let's say 3.40. A lot of subbies have knocked off trades, builders, and they're scrolling Instagram. So good time to start. So we so I've just set it up so that it's only going to Google my business, Google my business and LinkedIn. If I wanted it to go to all of them, I just select all and see how the lights, the, the color comes onto it. That means all your social profiles are connected. Okay, so then we're going to click create. And that comes up on a random category at 3.40 on a Friday. So the next thing you have to do is create content for that category. So we come over to the left side here and we add content. So promotional is the one that I do on a Wednesday. So I wanna actually promote, um, do my new one, which is well, a random category. So a random category comes up with that it can just pull from any um, post that you've done. So um, we, we can leave that. I'll just go to promotional. And then here you add a photo. So you can pick a photo. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go to my desktop and scroll down and say, all right, so I'm gonna pick this photo, for example, put it in, and then you can either write your blurb there, or if you've got something already saved, so I've got something saved to a note, um, I use WordPad, document WordPad, and, um, and write, either write into that, or if I wanna copy something off my website to um, put into my Google My Business, just to um, add some posts, or um, you know, you might take two sentences out of something and then add to it. So, all right, so I'm going to do this. So I'm copying that, and now I'm going to bring it up to here, and I'm going to paste it in. All right, so that has instantly um, brought up my, what I had in WordPad. So you just go in now and just, um, you know, fix it up a little bit so it, it looks good. You don't want it so um, tight, like you want it to look good. So here, here it is. So what I'm, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna connect the categories. So I want it on LinkedIn. 
I want it on iGyro construction and I want it on inspired traits. So on the right hand side here, you can see it, um, how it's going to look in, on, the, um, on the page or on the site. So um, that's your top sentence and then it, you know, you work your way down. So um, that's pretty much good to go, except uh, LinkedIn and Google do like a few hashtags. So um, we're going to add a few hashtags here. So let's say we're going to go better business. So we'll put a hashtag, capital B, and then better business. So that, that now creates something that people will find and, um, you know, look into if they want to. So another thing might be small businesses. So we'll hashtag that. You don't have to do capitals, but you, you've got to put the words together so that um, the hashtag is one hashtag and building and construction. So you can either use that as a, as a full hashtag or you can separate them again. So you've got building and hashtag construction. So you don't want more than four hashtags on LinkedIn and generally about four hashtags on um, Google My Business is really good too. So um, yeah, so that's good. So we've done that. If you want to, you can customize each profile. So I don't need to because all these, um, they're not like a, a, a Instagram one. I'll show you how to do an Instagram one, but that one's, that's good to go. So we're just going to click add post. And then it sets it up. So we're going to come back and to our um, dashboard and just refresh. So here you can see I've got all content is running. So all these posts that I've done, so I've got three ready for Facebook. Um, so it depends on what I've clicked on to which posts want to go to Facebook or which posts want to go to iGyro Construction or what ones want to go to Glen Leap. So I've got eight going to Glen's in, um, LinkedIn profile. I've got seven going to Inspire Trades, uh, Google My Business, and I've got five of them going to iGyro Construction. And at the moment, I don't have anything going to um, Instagram because we're we're actually using um, uh, someone else is doing it at the moment to do our Instagram. So um, we're not doing that, but soon um, we probably will be. So yes, yeah, so that shows you that. So, okay, so um, down the side here is where um, you add content. So your content, this, this is your, your promotional. So we've got um, six posts in there. You can view them here. We've got one in our blog post, you can view it here. And we've got one in our curated news. So they're the three categories that I'm using at the moment. So yeah, they, they all um, post through to um, when, when you're ready or when, as soon as you've scheduled it, it'll just um, automatically go and you don't even have to worry about it. On one, there is one difference to that. So um, I'm just going to switch my workspace. So up here is your workspace. So I have quite a few guys that we're working with. Um, so let's say we're going to go to the plumbing one. All right. So this is um, the dashboard for a plumber that I'm, where I'm doing posts for. We have, he has 17 posts going to all um, categories. So Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, and to um, Google My Business. So, all right. So I'm going to show you what my next posts are with Instagram so that I can show you how the, the hashtags are. So there's our, these are my next posts. So at the moment, 
um, I have all these set up so that you've got Friday inspiration. So this comes out at 4.10 on Australian Sydney time. And I've made it specific, which means I've set it up to exactly go on that day at that time. Um, generally though, you can just set it up so that, um, see none of these are specific. You can't see any specificness about it. So it's, um, it, it'll just come up when it's ready. But it is saying that um, Monday the 3rd of February, this quote's gonna come up. So you can see I've created this quote and a bit of a blurb and I've added the hashtags. So um, the hashtags on Instagram are excellent, but you don't want that many hashtags, obviously on Facebook or, or any of the others. So, so we'll have a look at what we're doing on the Facebook one. Okay, so what I've done is I've clicked on Instagram, so I need to actually go back to view my next posts and we'll click on uh, LinkedIn. And so then it brings up my LinkedIn posts that are coming. And this will just show you the difference. So it is specific, but see there's no hashtags. See how I've got no hashtags other than a few just in the wording. So, so that's your difference. Um, you want hashtags in your, in your actual wording. And this is a good way to come and check too. See this one I've done, I've actually forgotten to do hashtags. So if I wanna fix that, I just click on it. And I'll come into here and, say, and put a hashtag, professional plumber. Um, so we can put it together if, or we can separate it and put professional plumber. If you want to, you can also put one before renovating. Um, and also I usually try and hashtag the actual um, name of the business. So it's ATA Plumbing, which is their business name. And um, yeah, that's good to go. So that's, that's on my LinkedIn. And then we don't want to do that on Facebook. Instagram's already good. But here is um, Google My Business. So we want to add a couple of hashtags here. Professional Plumber. And then ATA. So this is how you just, um, just add a few, you know, little bits. And then you update your post. And it just takes a minute. And then you can go back to your, your um, you're checking it. So you can see when your posts are going to happen, what posts are going to happen and which ones are not happening and you know, you need to fix. So yeah, that's really um, super cool. So we're going to switch back to our um, Inspire Me Now one. And um, yeah, so basically that's, that's all. So you, you've got your posting, which is your posting times. This random category will just pull any anything out that it feels like um, randomly. So if something's gone up, obviously it won't go up again for a little while, but um, it can, especially with evergreen, the evergreen is ones that you, you keep recycling um, the posts. So yeah, anyway, that's, that's a bit of an overview. It's um, very simple. It's a really cool um, platform that you can use, easy. You can see your schedules, you can view your posts, um, and it's all, it's all there, easy. And um, yeah, I mean, it took me a couple of weeks to kind of work it out, and you still sometimes go, oh, that's cool. But down here, um, there's, it tells you any latest changes that are there as well. So that's really cool as well. So, um, and then, yeah, and so, the, yeah, so that's your content um, and you can either repost or share, but you've got to go back and work out where you're going to get it because um, if you're going promotional, I've only said share once. But anyway, you can play with it, but that's just an over, overall um, 
view of Social Bee. And if you need more help, you can contact me or Tim and, um, and let us know. I think that's probably enough. Tim, what do you think? I can't see you, Tim. Sorry, on? Angela, I had, I had myself on mute there. No, that's very good, thank you. Uh, yeah. One question that I did have, if you wanted to repost something, was it easy to bring that content back? Like, does it save all of these somewhere that you can repost it easily? Um, what you need to do is if you want to repost something, you, you've, you've got to put it in an evergreen um, category. So um, I haven't got anything in an evergreen category, but you can actually... Um, set it up so that um, the, it, it will only post, you know, once every two months or, or whatever. Um, okay, so you set up an evergreen post based on the category that it's in. So you'd create some categories that are of evergreen style, which means the yes. posts will be there forever and you can reuse those posts. Is that yes, the idea? But but if you've got it switched on, so um, if you've got curated switched on, for example, and it's evergreen, it'll bring up the same post every week. And so you'll get exactly the same post every week. So if you've got a post that's um, like an advertising one that um, is, you know, super cool and, and you want to, you know, just advertise the same thing, um, you can do that. So um, I don't have anything in those categories, but um, I'll just show you actually, um, so you can, we'll go back to add content and we'll select all. Um, I can just add, I don't know, any photo. Let's pick a photo. Um, okay, let's say this one. We'll open that up and then um, we'll just share, um, see Stuart's. Um, that's probably not a, oh, anyway, doesn't matter. doesn't really matter. So, um, okay. So this is your blurb. This is your, your thing, but you can actually go to here and, and add a variation, right? So at the moment, okay. So hang on, let's go back. So I'm going to go to say curated, right? Because that's a repost. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to add a variation. So with the variation, it actually allows you to get rid of that photo and add a new photo. Like, so say we're gonna add this one. Open. So it, it adds that photo. And then you can add, um, like it's got the same wording, so you can switch up the wording a little bit and, and you know, make it a little bit different with that different thing. And then you can add another variation. So you can get rid of that picture and add another picture. So we'll do this one. Yeah, so see, see that? So it's got, it just adds the same um, post, but with variations of the picture. So that would be a really great way of using exactly the same wording but um, using a different photo in each one. So it looks like a different post because most people don't really read it anyway. Basically, they just, you know, see your pretty picture and like it or, you know, have a bit of a look through. So, yeah, and yeah, just make right. sure they're all pr approved. Yeah, so you can add the post or you can cancel. So I'm going to cancel that. So it just says, are you sure do you want to close the post editor? Close. And then, so it goes back. So there's lots of different stuff that you can pick up and learn. Um, there's also a hashtag collection here. So you can create uh, a hashtag collection. So you write the name. So you might say um, hashtag collection for a certain job or, um, you know, like a location or, you know, it depends on what you're posting. So if you're posting... Um, you know, South Coast, New South Wales. That's one hashtag. Um, Wollongong. South Coast Builder. 
builder south coast you know all, oh you got to put it all together so these are all hashtags that you can set up sorry i've got to add a hashtag 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 Okay, and then, and so you've got four hashtags and then um, the collection name would be South Coast Builder, create. So now you have a hashtag collection for South Coast Builder. And so when you uh, add content and you select all and you create a post, South Coast Builder wins awards. Add photo. Um, let's see. Where can I find a? Anyway, I'll just put that one in again. So that one's in. We're going to go to our hashtag collection. There it is. Click on it and it brings up our hashtag. It's a great time saver. Yeah. So that's awesome. So, um, but you got to be careful with that too, because it's only meant to be really in Instagram. So you're probably better off to um, not have your hashtags on the first one, but once you customize for each profile, you then go to um, South Coast Builder and you click on hashtags and you go in there and it's there. The other thing you can do is use emojis which is so much fun. So there's all your emojis. So yeah, and they look like normal emojis actually on, on um, Facebook or whatever. <laughs> they look a bit odd there. But yeah, so that's it. So I'll just cancel that because I don't want it there. But, um, and we'll delete this because we don't actually want that. And then I need to it's not bringing up my other hashtags collections because I don't have a hashtag collection yet for my inspired trades. So my other ones I do, but, um, but not that. So yeah, there's an overview. Very fun. Very fun to use. And the other thing actually help and more. So we'll go to here. So if you do join, um, you can actually send just email us hello at social B. And you, or you fill out your contact details and send, and they will give you a call or an email and book a, you can book a call with them. Um, they are in New York, I think is, is where Julia is based. And, but she's been fantastic. Like at the beginning when I was um, trying to work it out, um, she was very patient <laughs> and um, yeah, just worked through it with me and I would share the screen and she would share her screen and um, it was just really, really good and really, you know, answered any questions that I had. So um, there's also help documentation here. So if you have any questions, um, yeah, it's all there. So content, there's 23 um, integrations, posting accounts, like there's just so many answers all in here. So you can just read up about that and, or search, um, how to post and then it'll come up with all these different um okay yeah all these different things so you just um click on it posting to instagram and it gives you detailed uh instructions how to post to instagram see that it's wonderful so easy yeah and so there's all your categories there so I love social being. It's fantastic. I'm a fan. So yeah, see how you go. Thanks, Tim. Very good. Thanks, Angela. Uh, thanks everyone for joining and we'll see you again next week. All right. See you soon.